It's a little over a week since the Port Harcourt refinery began producing petroleum products after several years. A daily supply of 200 trucks of petroleum products was promised. Our Eyes News correspondent Andy Omano Omano visited the depot to track the loading of trucks and reports that the loading process started late in the afternoon today. Investigation also revealed that process uh, ordinarily should have commenced at about 8 a.m., but this has not been achieved since the old refinery came back on stream. Some residents of Alessa Eleme are uncomfortable with this slow pace as the state is directly affecting economic activities in their community. Well, we'll have more on that report from our correspondent Andy Omano Omano, but joining me in the studio is oil and gas consultant Morris Ibe. Thank you so much for joining us on the news tonight. Thank you for having me. Well, our reporter Omano Omano was on ground today and uh, he did report about the sluggish uh, rate of activity at the refinery. But let me ask you, have you been there? I've not been there lately, but I've been talking to some of my marketers and people on Since the they came back online. online yes. And what have you been getting? What's the feedback? Well, the feedback is that um, the refinery is refining. Mm -hmm. uh, the maintenance is completed. It's re they have done their testing and it's refining. However, they just started actually loading, uh, I, I would say today. As that last week, um, our report was that uh, barely less than 10 trucks mm -hmm. left the refinery. Uh, so for I would, the entire week? For the entire week. So okay. I wouldn't call that, uh, because if the refinery is functional full capacity and there is regular loading of at least, it should be loading at least 200 trucks a day, which should give us about 4 million liters of PMS. You will feel the impact in all the stations, filling stations within Port Harcourt, Omwaha, Aba, Uwere, within that vicinity, mm -hmm. the prices of this PMS will automatically drop. You, you will feel the impact. But the NNPC did say it's at 70% capacity. Does that, you know, address some of the concerns that has been raised with the capacity and the functionality at the moment? The truth of the matter is that what is being said and what is practically happening on the ground are two different things. Why do you think that since they came back online, this refinery, which is the old refinery, producing 60,000 barrels per day, yes. has raised more questions than answer? The simple answer to that is that NMPC went to the public much earlier than they should have. If I was speaking for NMPC, and I don't hold court for them, mm -hmm. I would have waited because they weren't ready when they came out and told us the refinery was functioning. And uh, all Nigerians jumped and thought uh, this would be a big relief to them, expecting 200 trucks roll out from the refinery and pump prices to drop. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. So the questions now began to flow around is that, is the refinery actually uh, completed in terms of uh, maintenance? Are, are they really functional? But that didn't really happen till Today, actually, they started loading products and trucks are now rolling out. Started late, but gradually, I'm sure it will pick up. Within a week or so, I'm sure we'll feel the impact of what is happening. Okay. Uh, and some of the other um, concerns raised, um, including the bulk purchasing portal being opened or not, they said they are going through essential processes. That's the NNPC. Yes. Um, does that also feed into this findings of yours that you know it's just starting to roll out it's just starting to function NNPC why is it that is only nnpc trucks we see going in and coming out of the refinery at the moment marketers do you know if marketers that, have been loaded that, we don't know that, that they, they, don't say they you, have been picking up that tells you that the refinery was not ready to start serving the general public nnpc is a small percentage of the marketers in nigeria the independent petroleum marketers control a huge portion of that market. And not until the independent petroleum marketers start loading and you see their trucks leaving the refinery, you, you will have very minimal impact in the whole country. So uh, the fact that it's only NNPC that is loading tells you that the portal wasn't ready for the totality of the marketers mm -hmm. and the refinery was actually not ready to start rolling out products to 70, 80% like they claim. If it was pushing out 70, 80% of products, you will see at least uh, 100, 150 trucks a, a day looting coming out of our refinery. Okay, let's go back to the basics. When you say, because you are knowledgeable about the, the sector, when you say the refinery was not ready, 
and NNPC went to town too early. What exactly do you mean? When is the refinery ready? The, the, I would say the refinery, just like Dan Quete when he started, when they flagged off fully, not when it was uh, opened a year or two ago, but when it actually started producing, you will see the trucks coming out with products. It's not about when you say it's ready. You could have told us we are putting finishing touches, both mechanical and logistics. The country will understand it. When you say you are ready, we expected that trucks will have been rolling out with petroleum products, mm -hmm. and within two or three days, at least the vicinity, the Port Harcourt, uh, Aba, Owere, Omoaya, the areas within that refinery should have felt an immediate impact in reduction of petroleum uh, prices immediately. But one week later, mm -hmm. Uh, as man, I, I kept talking to people around the area. I've been in touch with independent marketers. And as of last week, less than eight trucks left that refinery. Okay, so do you think that uh, this is as a result of pressure? Uh, because, you know, there are several missed deadlines. And then NPC had promised Nigerians this was going to come on board before the end of this year. Um, do you think that the NNPC was pre under too much pressure to come to town to say, we have something to give you, Nigerians. Was that the reason? Or what else do you think would have prompted them to come to town before they were ready? I, I think first and foremost, I think NNPC has had a very terrible way of managing their public relations and public communication. Uh, they've been under pressure for a long time. It's not like they suddenly became under pressure. Uh, they were giving $1.5 billion to services refinery. God knows how long. We have had about four, five, six missed deadlines. Mm -hmm. So they should be used to the pressure by now. But so there's I, no excuse for no coming excuse to town before that's it was ready. Absolutely no Mr. Baby, I, I hate to um, interrupt you, but pause. Let's take that report from sure. Andrew Omano, who was on ground today at the old refinery. Here's the report. One of the 20 NNPC trucks scheduled for loading on Thursday moving out of the trucking bay at exactly 1.50 p.m. The loading process started quite late this Thursday afternoon. Investigation revealed that the process ordinarily should have commenced at about 8 a.m. this Thursday. But this has not been achieved since the old refinery came back on stream November 27th this year. Some of these residents of Alessa Eleme are comfortable with this slow pace because according to them, it is directly affecting economic activities in their community. The loading is not even going well because even as of yesterday, it is only one loading arm. In 18 loading arms they have there, it is only one loading arm that is loading. Before the first truck will come up for the second truck, it is almost like they don't load anything. So, so we cannot say they are loading. We are not enjoying anything. At least we benefit from the, re, the refinery. If they come and they do everything the way they are supposed to do, and the refinery work the way the refinery is supposed to work, I will benefit. I will also tell them thank you for doing great. But also there is something that bothers me. This old refinery, they should also help us, help the community. In our roads, some like the village roads are bad. This road I'm standing on right now is very bad. And also no lights. The electricity system is very down and it's not right. Though the president, Petroleum Retail Outlet Owners Association of Nigeria, Dr. Billy Gillis Harry, is worried with the pace, he expressed optimism that it would soon normalize. The situation in the refinery um, is improving. To our knowledge, we have started applying for petroleum products from both the PDOs and the Potaco Depot, and we are getting instant approvals. So it's just a matter of uh, seeking for fund to pay and start to look. So the slowness is expected in the beginning, but hopefully it will be taking shape shortly. The tankers will come into load when activities start in earnest. The NNPC terminal manager at the depot declined interview, informing that he needs authorization from the corporation headquarters in Abuja to do so. The chairman of the refinery section of petroleum tanker drivers also declined interview. Investigations showed that of the 18 loading bays at the new Port Harcourt refinery depot, 
only three are functional. The management of the refinery had, at the reactivation of the facility last week, promised a daily supply of 200 trucks. Already, investigations have revealed that only a total of 10 trucks is the highest that has been loaded daily since the loading process commenced. From Port Harcourt, it's Andy Omano Omano, Arise News. Oh, thank you so much, Andy. I still have with me Mr. Morris Ebe in the studio. Andy Omano Omano's investigation corroborates what you have just told us on Newsnight uh, from your sources on ground in the refinery. Um, so it's been slow paced, uh, extremely slow paced. But what are they telling you, um, those on ground, what exactly is the bottleneck that is holding back full-scale operations and the sort of rollout that we need to see from that refinery? Let, let's be, the truth of the matter is that this refinery has been non-functional for quite some time. Indeed. They have just finished all the mechanical and engineering work. They have done their testing. I will expect that it would take them a little bit of time mm -hmm. to get to full capacity. And all NMPC had to do was be honest with Nigerians. You've done the job. The refinery is working. Mm -hmm. But it will take time. And Nigerians will understand that. But when you come and promise them and tell them that 200 trucks will be rolled out per day since last week, a week later it's 10 trucks. People start questioning if the refinery is actually <laughs> functioning. So uh, to their credit, they have done the job. The refinery is back, up. is back up. Now it's the logistics, the planning and logistics that goes into loading. And the refining process is ongoing. Everybody knows that. We confirm that the refinery is working. So they needed to be straightforward with Nigerians. Tell us the truth. The refinery is working, but the logistics is not fully ready to accommodate 50, 100 200 trucks. It would take some time. Is there an issue of logistics or issue of availability of the product? And I ask this question because uh, just last week, we saw this back and forth between the refinery and tanker drivers. Yes. The refinery says tanker drivers have refused to come in to pick up the product. And the tanker drivers, even speaking through Nupeng, says, you know, that's not true because we can't just drive into the refinery. You have to tell us where the products are available, if they are available, before we come in. So is it really a function of um, structure? Logistics, logistics or, or as you say, availability. availability? It's a combination of both. Because if the products are fully available, mm -hmm. the portal is working, marketers are paying for products, there's no reason why they can't go and pick up the products and leave. But the truth of the matter is that the idea of telling us that you're at 60% capacity may be questionable. If you are producing at 60% capacity. There's no reason why we can't churn out 50 trucks a day. So there might be issues of truthfulness in terms of what they tell us. Finally, before I let you go, uh, Mr. Melekieri, the group CEO, uh, just at, a, at an event yesterday said, you know, the doubters can come to the refinery to see that it's working. It's sort of throwing the doors open to say, it's an open door policy now. Come and see we're working, you know, and the refinery is back up. But do you think that's enough to win back the trust of Nigerians, given all of this myriad of issues on ground? What does the NNPC need to do to win back the trust of Nigerians about this refinery that has come back online? be honest with you, NNPC has a huge trust deficit with Nigerians. Everything that has gone wrong with oil and gas industry, mm -hmm. you can lay it at the dust upon NNPC. If they, can, they couldn't manage their relationship with the Dankote refinery, they can't run their own refinery. All our refineries have been comatose for quite a number of years. So it's difficult to really trust anything that comes mm -hmm. out of NNPC. Mm -hmm. They're telling us, oh, the refinery is working, everything is hunky dory. Your reporter just told us 10 trucks in one week. So what is the problem? Can't you come out and tell Nigerians the refinery is working, but it's not working to full capacity? If it's 10% capacity, 20% capacity, level with Nigerians. Don't raise the expectations so high yeah. when actually you have nothing to give us. If the, capa if the capacity of this refinery is functional at 60%, there's no reason why we couldn't have seen 50 trucks today. 60 trucks today. I'm not talking about 200. I said 50, 50. trucks. Mm. But 10, 10 trucks at 60% okay. capacity. So something is not right somewhere. So Mr. Melikere needs to tell Nigerians the truth and come out up front and tell us, yes, the refinery is working, but we are not where we need to be. And we can understand that. Great. Thank you so much, Mr. Morris Ebay.
oil and gas consultant for sharing your thoughts on this matter. Thank you very much, Adele.